I do believe that in 3 hours from now the Glazor front is going to be released and the Arc Glazor is going to be able to be killed. And also there is going to be the new tier 85, tier 95 weapons put into the game. And uh, I am going to be streaming it. So uh, there might be some clips in this video that is from my live stream. I am not sure how I'm going to do it yet. But uh, I am right now trying to get a Glazor task. And... Uh, Hopefully be able to use that for the Glazor front. I'm not sure if it will be possible, but uh, if I have one and it works on the boss, that is going to be huge. Oh my god, there is no way. I am not on a Slayer task. Look at this. I actually just wanted to get some more binding contracts for the boss that I'm going to kill. And I get the normal Ripper Claws. That's a 1 in 10,000 drop. 1 in 10k! I'm not on a task! What? And I forgot to remove my Slayer helmet, oh my god. But, uh, okay, well I already have the offhand, so I basically have two melee weapons now. Nice! 237 Reaper Demons. And I have both the main hand and the offhand. One of them I got on a Slayer task, and one I just got now, of course. I'm thinking about if I should augment them or not. I probably shouldn't because the Glacor boss drops tier 85 weapons with a special attack. So I don't, I'm not sure how useful these are, but it's still nice to have them. They look so cool. Can keepsake them if anything. Look at that, 25 minutes until the update and no, I did not manage to get a Glazor task, but that is fine. I'm not going to do hard mode on the first day anyways, so I should be fine. But I'm making some adrenaline potions now because I didn't have that many, but I should have enough supplies for the first day. And I'm about to turn on my stream, so maybe from here the clips will be mostly from my stream, at least for the Glazor. We are now entering the Glazor front and we're going to take the uh, ability from Helvir, the mushroom ability. There is too many people here. How am I going to kill any of these? Dude, I'm a I'm attacking one of these, man. One of these are mine. I can't attack it. Dude, what is happening? Okay, you know what? Screw this. I'm just going in. Can I move out? I didn't kill the arm there. Why what happened? Do I only have to kill one arm? That's a kill. We did it. That was so easy. I mean, it, it wasn't the fastest kill in the world, but let's look at this loot now. So, uncut dragon stones, bane, water battle staves, and like 100 of these. That's 800k for one kill. Glaze of remnants. Is that... It shouldn't be a rare dropper, I assume, but... Can you trade these? Let's see if you can trade. You cannot trade them, okay. And I got summoning focus. Okay. I guess that's... Uh, that's good, I suppose. More summoning experience. So, crafting these glaze or remnants. Snowball, you can make uh, for one. <laughs> I don't even know what these would be good for, but the... Uh, okay, so Dark Nihilus, or Dormant, glaze or remnants. And you can make... Oh, you can enhance these. Interesting. To tier 90. There's a lot of things you can actually do with these. And 7.5k for the tier 80... No, 95. And for the tier 85, it's 2.5k, so... Also some Blackstone Hearts and the Glorious Bars. Like, you can just farm this normal mode with 65,000 HP until you get all the uh, Resonant Anima when to upgrade your ring. Because you get like 90, even though it's nor or no mechanics activated, and you also get KC. So you can stack up your KC, so you get a higher pet chance, I would assume. Because look at this, I now have... Let's go to here. I have 4 KC. This boss is literally AFK, but I don't do anything. And 5kc. Also Remnants. Also Oricalcum. How much is this? 75k. This is not a good- this is not a bad entry boss for new players. If you want to get some money and you also want to just chill, you know, and learn something. I don't know. This is so nice. Are you actually kidding me? What? Dude, on no- this has to be so rare. Dude, what? What can I craft? What do I have to- what can I craft with this? Dude, there's no way. I got this on no mechanics. 
Link artifact. It's to enhance the gloves. What? That's crazy. If I just get 1,000 I can get the tier 90 gloves from Karapak. Oh my god, that's crazy. So let's see now. What actually happens when you use all these on the ring? 703. And now let's investigate. When effect. Your protection prayers are 10% stronger against the arc laser basic attacks. Nice. <laughs> That's a lot of salvage for a kill. 17. I mean, this is really good for Iron Man Moneymaker. So you had to be able... You, you couldn't do the boss in a two-person instance. Because when you start, it starts off as a two-person max player. And you couldn't unlock hard mode if you did that. But if you kill the boss on one player, then you can unlock hard mode. So now I actually can try it out. First hard mode kill, maybe? 0% enrage. Obviously not meant to be the hardest thing in the game, but we're going to dark boss pick it. And where is the loot? Is the loot in the chest outside or uh, where is it? So it says claim reward. So let's see what we get. It's also a spinning thing like it is on Tello. So let's stop spinning and we get some water talismans and it is 41 of them. So yeah, it looks exactly like Telos, and 10% of rage is the next kill. So a lot faster kill this time, actually. Uh, there is no damage cap on it on uh, on hard mode. Remnants, how many? 74, not bad. Some seeds and another spin at 12%. This will be interesting. How much money is this actually on only 30% something in rage? 288k so yeah not that much money but pretty expected on this enrage and we go from 33% to 43% personal best and also an achievement of five hard mode kills four some remnants again and up to 174 now and because i got that uh, actual glove upgrade item before 1000 of these is going to give me tier 90 magic gloves which is going to be pretty interesting to use and uh 10% more enrage. Oh, no way. Wait, what, what is this? What did I just get? Dark Nihilus. Uh, oh my god. I'm not sure if that's rare because I think I need more of them to be able to make an item. But I'm just going to claim it here and I can continue the challenge anyways. It seems like I'll be needing a lot of these. I need 10 to make both the weapons, the tier 85, and I need... 20 to make the tier 95s and for these I don't need any of them and let's look at these okay for the cosmetics I also need five so I guess they are probably not that rare but uh, I will need a lot of them and that's now over 100% in range so uh, let's see how this goes so far it has been pretty easy I think overused food there a bit I probably didn't have to use that much food but 100% uh, in range done and let's see what we get that actually looks like a weapon, but it's not. It's just <laughs> battle staves, but uh, yeah, it's not that bad. It's Alks for an Iron Man, I guess, and 15% more. I have to say, this boss is definitely a lot easier than Telos. I just did a 200% enrage, and my highest Telos enrage ever is like 187%, and uh, I am not really even using that much food. I only ate like 5 sailfish the entire kill. So let's see what we get for this one. Of course I do die now and then, but that is mostly to the beams just uh, one-shotting me if I, because I'm not moving out of them quick enough. But yeah, 200% enrage done already, and I feel like I can definitely push this even higher. Okay, so that was basically a 250% enrage. I think it's 246% enrage, and I used three sailfish. So... Uh, yeah, doing this with the basically no food is pretty easy, it seems like. Uh, sometimes, of course, I screw up and I have to use more food, but usually it's not that bad. Uh, I wonder at what point the drop rate is going to be drastically increased, because I don't see any signs of that. I mean, it seems like there is no milestones for what enrage you will get a massive boost at. At Telos, it's like 100%, 250%, 500%, something like that. You reach different ranks, but on this boss, it literally just says 
both your streak count and the boss enrage increase your chance of receiving higher value items and rare rewards. So maybe it's not even that great to start on this enrage if you can easily do it. You can just stack up a really high kill count or kill streak rather and then just uh, do like 300% enrage and maybe that's going to be enough for you to consistently get some items. I don't know, we will have to see I guess. I actually died on 297% enrage but I'm just going to claim this loot here, decent stuff anyways. And I'm from now actually going to do some normal mode kills. The loot is just way better on normal mode and I am not really feeling like running out hard mode more than 300% or almost 300%. But maybe in the future videos I will get to 500% for that title as well as maybe try to grind for that tier 95 whenever I get the tier 85 weapons. One normal kill is basically three hard mode kills of loot. That's pretty much what it is. Dude, what is this drop? I thought I got something rare but uh, I got both a Triskillion fragment and an effigy. Oh, okay, I guess that's pretty good. Back to back effigy. What? Look at this. If I scroll up, effigy right here and effigy again. Maybe this is a good boss to farm effigies. My cash pile is now 13 million almost and previously when I started killing the boss I had a very low amount of money. But let's actually look at the kills. I've done 42 normal kills and 28 hard mode kills. And if we look at the collection, I actually have 250 Glacor Remnants, but that is not really true. I have more than that, so I'm not really sure how this is calculated. I think I have 600 in the bank overall. And the Dark Nihilus that I got from hard mode. And then the Lang Artifact that I got from Zero Mechanics activated. And I was told that you needed to have 5 mechanics activated to be able to even get this. But I even saw on Twitter that Wasi, a uh, streamer, actually got this on Zero Mechanics as well. And that other people had commented on getting it as well. So I'm not sure, but it seems like it's very bugged. And that's why people are getting it with Zero Mechanics. And of course, if it's the same drop rate as 5 Mechanics on the Lang Artifact, then I was even lucky getting it on the early kills of Zero Mechanics. But I have no idea really how this works. But it is very nice to be able to upgrade my Tier 85 gloves that I have. The... Uh Carapack wrist wraps right here. I will be able to upgrade them with 1000 remnants to tier 90 with the uh, Lang artifact. Not sure if I'm going to use it on that or if I'm just going to save it for something else in the future because I don't really use the gloves that much. But uh, also the Dark Nihilus is 1 out of 5 to get the weapons but it's going to take a very long time to grind that out and it is going to be a bit of a longer time goal I suppose. But I want to actually work on 99 construction and do some more contracts but that is not the most enjoyable contract. Content, so I'm just going to end the video here. I hope you guys did enjoy it and thanks for all the support on the guide that I made for the boss as well that I posted I think yesterday or two days ago depends on when I up the upload this video. But um, yeah, have a good one guys. Take care, like the video and like all that stuff. Subscribe if you want to see more content, you know the drill. Bye bye.